Welcome to Charles Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Wednesday the 11th of January comes to you from London and a lot more green on the screen this morning. And one thing I highlighted on LinkedIn this morning is that the UK stock market is a smidgen from making a new all time high. We're making four and a half year highs at the moment, driven by the oil majors. And of course, that is really outperforming uh, the US market, which is unusual. Normally, Wall Street sneezes and London catches a cold. Not this time. So, um, quite positive for UK investors, and it has made making money in the UK market a lot easier than the US, which has been driven down by tech. Anyway, let's have a look at the markets. We've got the dollar index uh, sitting at 103, really can't get back above that 105 level now. So uh, we are just seeing that fall away. We will get a longer term downside target here. Notice how this medium term one was met. Remembering this is my weekly, daily and 60 minute long term, medium term, short term view of the market and this corresponding point and figure targets. Looking at the euro, we're seeing here 107.42. Um, so uh, we are just nudging new highs there as well. Uh, on that weaker dollar, so um, looking stronger there. And if we look at sterling, we're sitting at 121.27, holding those 120s, um, but not looking as strong against that stronger euro uh, falling below uh, 113. So we are just seeing a little deterioration there in, in the euro, in sterling. Bitcoin sitting at $17,500, edging higher all the time. Uh, so just trying to get back into uh, medium term bullish territory. We really need to break $18,500 to do that, which is really the December high. Um, so until we do that, it's still bearish medium and long term. We do have a little counter trend target. We need to break above 18,000 uh, to act activate that. The US stocks uh, were up yesterday, uh, did uh, just hold steady, uh, but still bearish. Comparing that to the UK charts, really quite interesting um, seeing that move down in the NASDAQ and that's borne through in tech as well. Looking at the futures today, we're up a quarter percent. Really now all markets are eyeing up the CPI numbers tomorrow um, out from the US and just getting a heads up on where inflation is going. As I mentioned, the FTSE is higher, the FTSE future um, pushing higher this morning, activating these upside targets significantly higher, 20%, 30% higher. So um, good news there for the FTSE. The, uh, the DAX cash market is up nearly 1% and the cap current is up two thirds of a percent. Japan was up over 1%. Uh, I saw a story this morning that Uniglo uh, employees are getting something like 40% pay increase, really inflation for the first time in decades in Japan. Um, so really looking quite interesting there that the Japanese market not quite holding above the cloud. Looking at the Chinese market, we're down quarter percent there. And the Aussie, uh, the Sensex was flat uh, and the Aussie market was up one percent. I noticed my Aussie stock's doing quite well overnight. Uh, we'll look at the energy mix in a minute. Gold uh, looking strong, uh, breaking that 18 at 80 level. Uh, so that's quite key there for gold. Uh, and if we look at the uh, silver chart, we see also with, we've got uh, targets to the upside break nearly just getting above that uh, $24 level. So that's quite key. Interestingly, gold is actually uh, now above the cloud on the weekly. So that is really looking uh, very significant indeed. Uh, US 10-year yields sitting just above 3.5% as I mentioned, waiting for those uh, CPI numbers tomorrow. Apple, um, back above that critical 130 level, but uh, will it hold it? Now that we've gone below it, uh, we have really got downside targets hanging over us, so it's hard to see how Apple will um, buck those trends. Looking at the energy mix, we've got Brent crude up this morning, up 0.3%, uh, just looking a little bit better on that weekly, ch on that daily 60 minute chart, crossing above the cloud. Got mixed targets there, but just looking uh, quite a bit better. US NAC gas, uh, it's really bearish while we're below four, sitting at 362. We're out neutral to clients this morning. Emissions, again, we were neutral, little change there. Uh, and we did go out as bearish on gas markets. We're seeing TTF down 4%. 63 is the level there that we need to hold, 63 and a half. And on NBP, 166, 150 is the level that we need to hold there, that low. But we do have, we did have downside targets there as well. And German power down another uh, two and a half, uh, two point eight percent heading lower. We were bearish on power markets too. That's it for today. Keep an eye on those stocks. Going to be very interesting ahead of those CPI numbers. Until tomorrow, happy charting. 
See you then.